everyone. Hoping you're having a great day today. About to get the Facebook Live going. All right, got the Facebook Live going. Hope you're having a great day. Like I said, uh, today we're just gonna go over another chapter of More You Know, More You Grow right here. Uh, today's chapter, we're gonna cover the only vehicle that will carry you through life. And so, and, the, uh, and if you think about it, the only vehicle that will carry you through life is your body. So uh, Warren Buffett tells this story where he says at age 16, you have a genie that grants you a wish about one vehicle that any vehicle you can have ferrari luxury car whatever but the key is that you have to keep that car from 16 until the rest of your life so if you had to keep a car from 16 for the rest of your life what do you think you would you do with that car you probably take care of it right and so you would probably change the tires as much as it needs to go get the maintenance clean it routinely uh, but instead of that car, that vehicle, just swap it out for your body. Now, most people don't realize that their body is going to take them through for carry them for the rest of your life. So it's the only vehicle that will carry you for the rest of your life. And if you don't take care of it, you might end up in bed rest. Um, I know personally, I have to take care of uh, my body because I have herniated discs in my lower back. Uh, I tore my ACL in uh, high school playing football, so I'm starting to have knee pain. So I'm starting to do like physical therapy exercises to get it back to a good shape. And same thing with my, my back, I have to do like planks and core exercises and back exercises just to make sure I'm good to go. Because when you throw out your back and you can't move, it sucks. Uh, when you can't go to the bathroom, you can't uh, just go up to the kitchen, go grab something to eat. Yeah, it takes a real toll on your life. So uh, me personally being in bed rest for a couple of days made me realize like, hey, I have to take care of my body as best as I can because by the time I'm in my 50s and 60s, if I don't take care of it, it might be too late. And yeah, that's just what the chapter is really all about is you have to uh, do the, go to the gym, go work out, and just ask you, uh, make sure you're sleeping, make sure you're eating right. If you're not sleeping enough, uh, one of the things that um, kind of that, that prevents is when you don't get a full night's sleep is you don't remove the, the brain plaque that builds up in your brain and that can cause issues down the road. And these are things you just have to become 1% better every single day. If you just get 1% worse with your body every single day, it's like something you don't really even notice. Like you don't really notice that when you don't work out for a month you're like you feel fine you and then by all of a sudden when you try to go run or try to do lift something then you're like wow i am out of shape and it just sneaks up on you and and that's why you just have to be intentional about it every single day is go work out go uh to the gym go for a walk make sure you're eating right and just so that when it's time to go, you're ready to go. You don't want to like pull a hamstring or hurt another body part just because you weren't ready for that for that challenge, whatever it is. It might be lifting up a kid. It might be picking something out of your car or like moving or anything. I I know for myself, like when it's time to move, I can go move, help somebody move, uh, just because you work out. 
maybe lifting the, the desk or the couch or whatever, but hey, it's I'm ready for it. It might, it might help me in other situations. Um, but yeah, just realize that a, a genie did grant you a wish at age 16. He said, what kind of car do you want? He granted it to you, which is your body. And, but yet the, the key thing is that you have to take care of it every single day. It's the only vehicle that will carry you through life. And I know personally for myself, I don't want to be in my 50s, 60s, and 70s and realize that, hey, I can't move. If I have grandchildren, I want to make sure that I'm like that buff grandpa that can go play with them and run or like go shoot hoops with them and everything. And yeah, it sucks when you can't move. Uh, yeah, I've been, like I said, I've been on bed rest for a couple of days straight where I couldn't move because I threw on my back and it sucks. Like this was at, at 23, I was starting to have back pain and everything. And it just, it just slows you down and just limits on what you could do. And then the same thing with my knee. Um, I got to start, stop playing basketball because you, you can't handle those uh, spin moves like you used to. Can't even handle kickball, but I can run in a straight line and everything. So I do what I can. If you can't do certain things, then there's alternatives to whatever you're doing. Yeah, and it's just going to prevent so many problems down the road if you just take care of yourself today. Just going to have more energy. I know, like, my day is packed full of stuff, and if I don't work out or do anything, I know I'm not going to be able to perform at my highest level. And if I can't perform at my highest level, then I can't accomplish all the things that I want to accomplish. So that's why I make sure working out is a priority. It is, it is a priority. I don't, I will give up something else in order to do working out because I know it's that important. And it's really a choice. And when it comes to working out, eating and everything, for the most part is a choice. And in life, we're the sum of our choices. So if the sum of your choices are not working out, not eating, right, not sleeping, it's going to, add up and you just got to treat your body like a luxury sports car you got to tune it up you got to get the oil check um clean it routinely just get all the maintenance done because it's the only it's the only vehicle you're going to have for the rest of your life if you only had one thing for the rest of your life and you couldn't get another one how would you treat that thing if you it could be anything like if you only have one thing in life and you can't have anything else how would you treat it? And I know I would treat it with a lot of respect and value and just take care of it. And that's just the same thing. We just have to learn how to take care of ourselves. It's so easy to uh, not focus on ourselves and focus on other things because they're like, oh, we could do it tomorrow. Oh, I got blah, blah. But those are just like um, the beginning of bad habits that start to pile up. It's really easy to not work out. It's like, oh, I could do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow turns into another day and then another day. And then all of a sudden you realize, oh, crap, I haven't worked out. And so, yeah, it's a habit that has to be built in. And you also have to set up your environment in a way that's going to help you do so as well. So, like, if you need to go to the gym in the morning, make sure your clothes are ready so that you can get dressed and get ready, go in the car or whatever, go for your run, whatever. Make sure you have the Tupperware. Make sure you have the, the materials you need to food prep. And when it comes to sleeping, make sure you remove the electronics out of the room. I highly ad, um, recommend that you adopt the Amish hour where you have no electronics in your room for, for an hour before you go to sleep just so you can, your brain can calm down and everything. You just, I don't know. I know I feel different after a full night's rest versus only sleeping for like five hours or four hours. It's, it's a totally difference. Like, like last night, I didn't sleep the full eight hours, but I did wake up early. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do what I gotta do for the rest of the day and just go to bed earlier tonight and just catch up tonight and just get back on my routine. And yeah, just the idea is that the more the more towards 100% I am, the the better off I'm going to be. And like if you lose one hour of sleep, you decrease your, your brain functional capacity by 14%.
and your and your brain consumes um, twenty percent of the calories that you consume. So if you feed your body with junk, your brain is going to get junk, and you won't be able to think clearly. You're not gonna you're gonna get more agitated, fr more frustrated easily. This is going to take a toll on you, and most people just don't realize how feeling great actually feels. Like try seeing how you feel after a month of like eating well, sleeping right, exercising for a month, you'll, you'll probably feel like a totally different person. You're like, wow, I can probably do a lot of stuff and just go from good to great to unstoppable. And that's what it's all about is making sure you're just like at your tip top shape. It doesn't like it, in life. It really is like the difference between like a couple of percentage points that separates a winner from a loser. If you look at in the Olympics and everything, there are only like, or like tennis, tennis is just like a millimeter difference in your, in your swing can be the point, be the difference between hitting the net and just getting it over the net. And you just, if you're just a tiny percent better than your, your competitor, you can re, uh, reap all the rewards of being in your tip top shape. So, so yeah, in this chapter right here, more you know, more you grow. Just a book just covers that uh, more in detail on how to make uh, how your body is the only vehicle that will carry you through life. So, if you want a free copy of this book, more you know, more you grow. Just go to my uh, website, uh, growwithjoe.me slash book, and just pay for shipping and handling, which is five dollars. And it's um, yeah. And if you don't like it, you can get your money back. I also have a quiz on my website, so just go to uh, growwithjoe.me uh, slash quiz and you can take the quiz right there. So yeah, if you have any questions, just follow me or email me at info growwithjoe. Send me a message here on Facebook, comment. If you on Instagram, follow me at growwithjoe, Twitter at growwithjoe. I'll, I'll respond there as well. So hope you have a great rest of your uh, Wednesday and uh, enjoy the rest of your night. All right, take care.